Hey, it's Rob from Daughter Family Farms. Today we're making spaghetti for supper. We're going to make uh, the spaghetti sauce with ground pork. We're also going uh, to use some jarred uh, spaghetti sauce. We'll show you that in a minute. And we're going to use a uh, spaghetti squash instead of spaghetti noodles uh, for the noodles themselves. Spaghetti squash is a great alternative. It reduces the glass high glycemic load from the noodles uh, and it also tastes pretty well but anyway so we'll show you how to do that in these next few moments so when we cook spaghetti even though we use a um, jarred or canned tomato sauce usually pre-packaged I still prefer to use uh, additional onions uh, fresh if possible in the tomato sauce it adds additional flavor, but onions are really, really good for health. And so I try to add them as well. I try to add a variety of colors of onions in part for the additional health benefits. But uh, as the more colors, the more phytonutrients you have, at least from what I understand, at least from what I understand in nutritional cooking but it also adds a lot of additional flavors as well I don't try to get these too small I just try to cook them well enough that I just try to cook them well enough that um, we don't get huge bites of onion when we eat the spaghetti sauce. I'll be using two pounds of um, pork with this, and so it'll have um, my eyes are starting to water. So I try to add an extra onion or two for each um, package of ground pork that I use. So I've put my oil in the pan. Um, I'm using lard just because we have it. I would normally use avocado oil or something like that that handles high heat better. Olive oil with these temperatures uh, doesn't need to get above about 375 degrees. So that's why I use um, lard from our pigs or avocado oil or something like that. I try to stay away from any of the vegetable oils. They're wildly unhealthy um, and create a lot of inflammation. So I'll get my onions now and bring them on over and put them in. So I've got the heat up kind of high to start off cooking the onions. I'll grab a little bit of garlic. We usually have garlic that we grow on the farm, but right now um, I forgot to harvest it, ran out of time and could not harvest it in time this summer. So we're using minced garlic and hoping that we have a better crop of garlic uh, this spring and summer. Onions and garlic are starting to cook a little bit. They're not quite done. I try to get them completely sauteed, but it normally does not happen that well. I made quite a mess in the kitchen today. And my stove top shows it. I'm going to go on and put the ground pork in here. Of course, you can use ground beef as well. We have a lot of ground pork, so that's what I'm using today. I kind of like the flavor of the pork better than the beef for spaghetti, believe it or not. But I'm going to go and put that in there. In an ideal world, I'd cook these a little bit longer. But I'm in a little bit of a hurry, so we'll go on and get the uh, 
pork brown. So this is the ground pork. Drop it in, break it apart, salt it a little bit. While it cooks, I'm sure there are more effective ways of doing what I'm doing, but again, I'm just trying to get dinner on the table tonight. And let it be halfway decent, halfway healthy. In the middle of work and home life. Now we'll let that brown for a few minutes and then we'll add the spaghetti sauce and probably some canned tomatoes. I don't think we're going to have enough sauce for the meat that we have today. For the most part, the pork is browned. There's still some that hasn't been done. I focus less on the brand of tomato sauce or pasta sauce that I use and make sure that there's no added sugar. It's one of those things you've got to read the ingredient label. You cannot just trust the labels on the package. Um, but it's just tomato puree, water, basil, olive oil, sea salt, onions, garlic, citric acid, and black pepper. And the label says most of those products are dried. So this is, as I thought, these two containers are not going to be enough for um, to make the sauce that we need. In an ideal world, I wouldn't be doing what I'm about to do, but it just goes to show that you can, the main thing that's in pasta sauce is the tomatoes and such but i'm going to add some crushed tomatoes and basil and that will be that should finish out this pasta sauce pretty well. so i'm adding these crushed tomatoes Really, all that's going to do is just provide a little bit more tomato base for the sauce. I'm probably going to put in one more can, actually. And then I'll put in some dried basil. So here's a little bit more crushed tomatoes. And this is dried basil from our garden. I just dehydrated it and put it in this can. If it were fresh basil, I would use less, but it'll just add a little bit more flavor. Also, if we didn't have a lot of these jars of basil, uh, I wouldn't use as much either, but it'll just add some more flavor to the sauce as it cooks. The main thing though is when you add more crushed tomatoes or tomato sauce or even whole fresh tomatoes, the liquid's just going to have to cook off a little bit and you want to give those flavors time to meld. But that's all we're doing. So I'm going to go set, I'm going to go cook the spaghetti squash now. I've already done a video. Uh, of how I cut it up and how I'm cooking it, but I'm going to go cook it now. I've waited because this needs a little time to cook and the oven makes a lot of noise when I'm cooking with it. So we'll show you the finished result in a little bit. So the spaghetti sauce is done now. Forgive the background noise. The spaghetti squash is cooking in the oven and it makes a lot of background noise. I cooked over some. I should have used a bigger pot. Scorched the bottom just a bit. 
It's not perfect spaghetti sauce, but it works. It's healthy. And uh, most of these dark spots, you can see the uh, basil that I added in there. So we'll check in just a minute. We'll check and see if the spaghetti squash is ready, and we'll be ready to put it all together. Don't forget to check out the video on how to cook spaghetti squash if you're interested in that. Thanks again for watching the video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And give it a big thumbs up if you like it. Share the video. It'd help a lot. Thank you.